It is one day before the World Cup starts here in Doha, and today we're in the area of the beautiful Lucille Stadium to check it out. We're Greg and Hillary, the Kinetic Kinnon. While we grew up in the United States, we've spent the last six years living in Mexico. Mexico is where we first experienced passion and love for the sport of football. We love exploring new cultures, we're always up for an adventure, and we love being in the center of the action. Combine all three, and that is the World Cup. Behind us here we have Lucille Stadium, the 80,000 seat stadium, the largest stadium here in, uh, here in Qatar. And Mexico is, is going to be playing one game there, hopefully two, right? Hopefully two. All the hardcore fans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is awesome. We just turned the corner to what I think is the main Lucille Boulevard. It is nothing but bright lights and flags. This is gonna be one heck of a party. search for a Mexico flag. Have not seen the big Mexico flag yet. We've seen Qatar, Turkey, Argentina, France, Germany, Canada, USA. No Mexico yet. They just cranked up the music and I can't help but feel like how can you not be excited? I feel like this atmosphere is just this is like the best pump up atmosphere ever. Alcohol update, haven't seen any concession stands selling alcohol, but to be fair, I haven't seen any concession stands selling anything. Water, Cokes, haven't seen a single concession stand, so no alcohol thus far, but no anything thus far. Those are the first U.S. fans I've seen this entire time. I don't know if they're staying in different areas, I don't know if they're not here. A lot of people supporting a lot of different countries haven't seen a lot of USA yet. Mexicanos! Mexicanos! <laughs> we have not seen any Mexican fans out tonight, have we? Zero. Well, six, counting the perks. Yeah. We have <laughs> a whole gaggle. We have a whole section of a stadium. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of countries from the Middle East in yes. heavy representation down here tonight. I think something really cool that I was not expecting is it feels like it's so friendly. I feel yeah. like I met people, so many all people over the world. all over the world, yeah. and I was not expecting this sort of like camaraderie, exactly. but I feel like we're all just like so excited and I anxious, and I feel like this is really cool. <laughs> This is a really cool cultural experience. I didn't really think about, I don't know, I just didn't expect this before we came, but interacting with people from all over the world, mostly interacting with people from the Middle East, is something that's really, really special. This is the first stand here behind me that we have uh, seen that sells anything. Beer, beer, beer. We're gonna see what they have beer, and how much it costs. Beer, please be here. <laughs> beer, 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 please be here. Do you have anything to drink? To drink. Do you have anything? No. 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 Not even water? Water. Free water. Water. Just water. Free water? No. <laughs> oh. Okay, but no beer. No. No beer. There's no beer at that stand, also it's his first day. But we did get a free sample and that was delicious, but it's his first day. What a day to start. The day before the World Cup, no pressure. Do you have any beer? No. 
No beer. No. Where Dude. is the beer? It's in those clubs. <laughs> in the clubs. In the clubs. All right. The clubs. Bummer. Only, only Gotta go to the clubs. <laughs> beer? No, Where's the beer? <laughs> we need beer! <laughs> World Cup prediction. Just still doing some construction. Uh oh. Oh, that's the beer stand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. World Cup prediction. I hope I'm wrong on this. I don't feel like they have enough food or water. Like, I don't feel like they have the concession figured out yet. I feel like, I hope I'm wrong. I hope we just have gone to the wrong two areas, Lucille and the Corniche. Yeah. But those are two of the more popular areas. Yeah, we'll have to keep in touch as it gets busier if like things yeah. kind of start picking up. It's a lot of people's first day today. Working, Blood right? Pressure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This I, is going to be crazy. I hope I'm wrong. Also, Mexico will play in Lucille Stadium. Okay. No spaces. Do you know where I can find beer? No beer. No, no beer. No beer here. No beer here. No, 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 no. Down there? No? No, no. Anywhere? No. This side? No. No. Uh, where, where do you think there is some? I think it's the fan zone. It's the fan zone. Where's the fan zone? I don't know, actually. That's okay. Well... Do you know, like, on the map, do you know where it's at? Uh, I, I don't have any idea about that. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. No one, no one here is selling this beer. No one here has beer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. No one here has beer. Not only, not only do they not have beer, but they, like, emphatically don't have beer. They really don't even want there to be a rumor of beer being here. No beer. No beer? Where's no the beer? beer? Did you find the cervezas? No. No? Wow, that uh, that escalated quickly. Day by day, Doha is getting more and more wild <laughs> and excited, and everyone is just super anxious at this point, which means one thing. The next time we see you, we'll be watching the opening yes. ceremony and kickoff for the first game. We never found beer. Oh. I have a surprise for you. Not for you, for you. For well, me? For you if you want one. A surprise beer? Maybe. I found a secret spa in Doha with beer. Really? Yeah. Shh, the secret stash. Don't tell anybody. It's not a big stash, but it is a stash. Here we go. The only beer we, ha only alcoholic beer we have seen in Doha. We've got a little stash here. We got some Stella down here, so uh, we will not be disclosing the actual location of the stash for safety reasons. There might be a stampede on the way over here if we did.